Hi friends, here in this video, I will be explaining the boring operation. So, let's get started. Now, boring operation is basically performed after the drilling operation. It means, it is not a primary operation. That is, first you have to perform the drilling operation and then go for boring operation. And why it is done? The reason behind it is that the drills which we are having, they are not available in each and every size. It means drill are available only in standard sizes. But if we want to produce holes of any given size, which is not there in the standard size of the drill, for that we can use the boring operation. It means, I'll just explain with a rough example, that suppose, now suppose we require a diameter of 20 mm that is we require a hole of diameter 20 mm but the standard size drill which is available is of diameter 17 i am just taking a rough example that diameter 17 mm drill is there with us so at first we have to perform the drilling operation by taking the drill of 17 mm diameter so a hole is produced of 17 mm diameter then in order to remove the remaining 3 mm of material we can use the boring operation and the boring operation which i am explaining here it is performed on a lathe machine boring can also be done on a drilling machine or it can even be performed on a boring machine the example which i have taken here it is performed on a lathe machine now what happens here is here we have a workpiece which is obviously a hollow workpiece because Boring cannot be done before drilling. It is always done after drilling operation. So the workpiece which is held in the chuck of the lathe machine. And then here we have a boring bar at the end of which we have a single point cutting tool. This boring bar can be produced with the help of forging operation. And then consequently the remaining machining operations are performed and grinding is performed to get the single point cutting tool over here then at the same time the depth of cut is given and here i'll explain that this is first of all the center or the lathe axis so here we have the lathe axis and the workpiece is rotated in an anti-clockwise manner along this lathe axis and then the depth of the depth of boring is given by moving this boring bar in a cross direction that is perpendicular to the lathe axis we can get the depth of cut once the depth of cut is finalized then we have to move this boring bar inside the workpiece by giving the feed in a direction parallel to the lathe axis and towards the headstock so this is the feed direction and when this feed is given the depth of cut has been finalized the material gets removed in the form of small small chips from the workpiece the material would be removed in the form of small small chips and then the hole is enlarged so like ex the example i have taken if we are having a drill of 17 mm diameter which is drilled into the workpiece to re remove the remaining 3 mm material because we require a hole of 20 mm we can use this boring operation the 3 mm extra material gets removed and we get the required depth or the required hole for the given workpiece. So, in short, that was an explanation regarding the boring operation. At the end, if you'll find my videos helpful, you all can like, share, comment, and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends. Thanks for watching.